Okay. Okay, I'm going to play Toy Blast, making my long awaited return to Toy Blast. Uh, uh, I haven't played this in. Uh, well, I haven't done videos of this in months, but then again, I haven't played it in quite a long time either because I play via, I play via Facebook and um, and it seems like um, uh, it seems like they've stopped updating the Facebook version of this so um, um, because I often feel overwhelmed and slowed down in life by my OCD, well, um, that means that I, um, I'm not really in a big rush to play, I'm not really in a big rush to play this on, the, on phones, like on Android and whatnot, and... Uh, however, my uh, mom did, my parents do play this by phone, but my mom stopped playing because uh, she thought it was wrong that, um, she thought it was wrong that the, uh, um, stop supporting the game, Facebook, uh, which meant that I stopped playing, uh, which meant do I stop playing? Just need to check out. Okay. Ugh. I'm just working out how long I can play for. So that was... That was out 228. Now on to 229. As you can see, quite a few of my friends have overtaken me since uh, last I played. I mean, I've got... I've got to level 1,700. I've got to level 1,700, but um, as you know, uh, while recording myself, I've, uh, I've, I only recorded up to two, or 228, which I just did then, so um, what I'm saying is that um, in the past, um, there was fewer people fewer of my friends up to this up to these levels uh, than what there are now because of the long amount of time that I had off playing it because of how my OCD got really bad and um, it's still not as good as it still not as good as it could be really but us beggars can't be choosy, really, can we? No. Still, at least, I'm doing better. So whether that's a sign that um, my OCD is better or doesn't just smarter all of a sudden, I don't know. But I digress. <laughs> Still, the aren't exactly easy anymore, these levels, are they? I'd say moderately taxing, uh, uh, but not really easy myself. Because I'm not going to do this one, as you can see. Anyway, you can try again now. At least my OCD fear isn't isn't 
power. I'm not paralyzed with fear anymore. Like I get the urge to, I get the urge to restart videos. Although I uh, when uh, when I have thoughts that when I have thoughts that when I have thoughts that my when I have thoughts that make me uncomfortable or an uncomfortable or anxious. But still they did that could just be because now I'm better at kind of stopping them before I have them, so maybe I still am a fearful little wretch, I suppose you could say. Well, as you can see in the bottom left corner there, I just made a, I made a comment before about the old biker mice from Mars Super, Super Nintendo game in a thread on Facebook where people were ask where someone was asking what our favourite Super Nintendo racing game was, and I said biker mice from Mars because because I thought it was a great two-player experience a bit in the vein of Mario Kart really the way how you could um, do things to attack and sabotage uh, the other races the, the other participants in the races like if they were ahead you know what I mean I think anyway after all I still have a hard time explaining things coherently, I suppose. Yeah, the fact that I've gotten uh, the fact that I've gotten out of habit. Uh, I mean, uh, the fact that I don't do video, that I didn't haven't done videos as much in a while, I suppose, uh, doesn't really help in that regard. in that case because while the propellers do have um, while the propellers do have that greater range they um, they don't have the same kind of area of effect close up if you're not really familiar with the dynamics of this game though I'm probably just talking a lot of nonsense in your mind at least but still um, you might think it looks fun anyway and decide to play after all I can't expect you to have a lot of insider knowledge if you don't can I so that you can really understand what's happening on the house well I did oh, that was a good that was a good score I got wasn't it and that was now 229 so now I'm on to 230 I go <laughs> As you can see, I've still got my uh, bad throat a bit, but at least I'm not coughing and spluttering this time like I was. Like I was. Wait. Like I was yesterday. Like I was yesterday with the Galatron video when I broke the world record score. I think it was the world record score anyway. I could be totally wrong, but then again, you'd think people who, the people who had the world record score, whoever they are, you'd think they'd be posting it, posting it on YouTube for the fame of it and all, and the chance to make the money through the monetization, wouldn't you? <laughs> Again, people often say that those who are the greatest at things are sometimes never discovered, as is the case with artists and whatnot, don't they? 
So at the end of the day, you just really don't know, do It's one of those mysteries that's so prevalent in life, I suppose you could say. Seems to be quickly getting back. I seem to be quickly getting back on form here, don't I? That's what being an elite gamer is all about at the end of the day, you see. Don't these creatures just look cute in their little cages? Oh. It's always satisfying to breaking lots of these bricks with one move, I find. Makes me wonder if it's um, if it could be considered a kind of ASMR gaming experience, maybe. After all, I see lots of people who find it satisfying watching people playing Tetris these days. It must be a case of them liking seeing the um, the Tetris Tetramores being nice and neatly arranged, I suppose. Well, I didn't go anywhere near completing that level, did I? Uh, I can still have the newbie moments, it seems. Sometimes when I'm in a bad way, those newbie moments are all too prevalent. Makes these levels harder though when there's not much room to manoeuvre at the top, so it's largely guesswork. Largely guesswork in regards to which squares you get and which ones match together. In a way, when when that when you um, when that happens, you're pretty much um, shooting in the dark. I suppose you could say. Making this a bit of headway now, unfortunately. Or it could very well be too little, too late, and I think it is because I didn't manage to get enough of the bony pins. Or I don't have many more lives left either. I'm, wond I'm wondering if it was bad luck for me not to spend enough time. <coughs> Looking at the scoreboard at the start, since I was doing that a lot um, earlier on with, with the earlier levels I was playing, and I did better at those ones. But then again, the sheer lack of moves you have available for this level is making it harder as well, I suppose. Start playing, I can hear outside. Makes me think of in, the, in Fallout New Vegas before the war when people would, were getting nervous when they'd hear unexplained planes um, in the local vicinity. <laughs> Still don't think I'll do it. Too many bowling pins and not a strong enough Yeah, just one bowling pin to go. What bad luck was that? And how to lives. So, uh, with that, um, I guess I'll stop the video. This is a cute map section as well with the little police car and police station and what and a pig banker and a pig criminal in the prison, isn't it? And that pig robber there looking, looking too innocent facially to be a robber. But I digress, that's what these games are like, cute but, or cute but designed to be realistic in a cute kind of way at least. Uh, 
So uh, we've done ourselves. We've done ourselves start the video. Bye, Steve. Bye, folks.